Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for allowing me to take last week off. You guys were so sweet. I made a post over on the community post just letting you guys know that I was late. It was our spring break and you guys said take some time off. So I decided just to not release any videos last week and enjoy spring break with my kiddos. They are, I mean, gosh, the years are flying. They are in third, fifth, and seventh grade and we had a whole lot of fun. I did not get any work done and I'm okay with it. They went back to school today. So today we are gonna chat about what has sold here in March. We're gonna go over the first couple weeks of sales and I can tell you it's not been a lot. I have not done a lot of listing. If you have been following along my other videos that came out this month, I hosted a birthday party for my youngest the first weekend in the month and then we had spring break and we just had a lot of life so I didn't get a lot of listing done which means my sales weren't so fabulous, but I did make a couple okay sales and we're gonna chat about them because I know when sales are kind of slow, I really try to watch what sold videos because I wanna see what's selling right now. If you're like me, maybe you have a money pile, a death pile that you're working through and try to prioritize listing some of the things that maybe are hot right now. So uh, we're gonna kick it back in time for a short clip of what sold those first that first weekend in March. Uh, Michael helped me pull some sales. So we're gonna pull some sales together and then we're gonna come back and go over everything else. Let's check it out. Good morning, happy Saturday. We have four things to pull this morning. Two of them are in this same bin. It's very full, oh, here's one. This is a play condition. This is why you guys have heard me before. If you have bundles of play condition kids clothes, like a bunch of t-shirts or under dress shorts, get them listed. Even if they are just Carter's, Target, Walmart. This is actually a decent brand. It's called Alice Plus Ames. It's not one you're probably going to find very often. It's a small shop boutique. These dresses are expensive. This one had a little area. Oh, it's kind of hard to really see. It had a little area of thinning and just a lot of pilling. And I decided to get it listed because my only other option was to just donate because once upon a child wouldn't take it. I knew someone would buy it. It could be used for a tie-dye project. I don't know. They're just so adorable. You'll see the picture. And someone purchased it for $5 plus shipping. I did want to mention on March 1st, shipping charges drastically increased on Kitizen. I personally will no longer be using the Kitizen labels. And you have heard me before say that it was worth it to use them. But with this last increase, it's crazy. You're better off creating a free pirate ship account. All right. The next was a very quick sale. Let's see. If you watched my video where I went to Ross to buy Barbie party stuff for my daughter, I picked up a few things to then make that free. All right, that bin is a little too full. All right, this little girl size five bikini, I picked up on clearance from Ross for $5. It sold for $29 plus shipping on eBay. So that was a really quick little sale and definitely helped make what I bought from Ross that day 100% free. And one more in here and then I've got one in my office. This is not a good sale, but is what it is. I picked up a pair of Crocs years ago now at Once Upon a Child. Uh, Crocs were moving really, really fast, all styles for kids. They still are, but not really. It's just a typical clog style. Uh, these sold for a whole, let's see, $8 on Poshmark. So glad to see them finally go. All right, and here's the last thing going out. This is a pair of Birkenstocks. These are in really great condition. I actually got these. We have a Amazon return store here that used to be like $1, $2, and now it's like 10, 12, 20, I don't know. I went in there just to see one day and they had these sitting on a shelf. So I did pay $10 for these, but they sold within two days on Poshmark for 60. So I think that was still a pretty great little flip. And these are what's going out this morning. All right, it's Monday morning. I have several sales going out today. Yesterday, March the 3rd was a really great sales day. I had about $300 in sales. So uh, before I head out, I don't have time to show you all of the items as we pull them. I did want to show this one. Um, 
This was my best sale of the whole weekend. I have $1 into each of these. So $3 into like six total blades. I'm not even quite sure what type of razor this is for. I picked these up at a local sale. So $3, they sold on eBay. Uh, I had $5 shipping. So with shipping for $68.20. So after fees and my shipping label, I did choose to, a friend who used to sell on eBay gave me a lot of their old supplies. This box only cost me 30 cents more to ship than in a padded mailer, which when they paid that much, I'm going to make sure their boxes don't get squished. So I made $55.36 of profit. So that was a fantastic sale. It did take a little while, but always check out these weird random things when you see that they are sealed. And also because it's sitting here on my desk, I never put it in my inventory because it's pretty. Y'all know I love me some Lily. I just did not need this slim can holder. This sold on Poshmark for $15. So that was a pretty great little pickup. I think I had like $2 into it. Super cute. Not a huge money maker, but it just makes me happy. All right. And the rest of the sales that went out this weekend, I will show you pictures of. Thanks, babe. He pulled all the rest of these sales, which you guys will just see because I am rushing out the door to get these kids to school because I have to go pick up birthday cupcakes and phew. All right. Love you. I love you. Bye. All right, so those were some of the sales that went out the first, like March 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, and the day that I had to rush out to go pick out cupcakes and all the things. Here are the sales that Michael was packaging up for me. I sold a pair of Adidas Stan Smith men's sneakers. These came up in a thread up men's rescue box, which I have not ordered in like three years. Actually, I ordered this one on February 15th of 2021. I had $3.91 into them. They finally sold on Poshmark for $35. I think they were like a size 12 or 13. They were big. I was glad to see them go. You guys saw some of these others. All right. Uh, I don't believe you. I think this is where we were at. All right. I sold a pair of old navy gauze pants. Not a pair. A bundle. Here they are. These came in a recent Thread Up Kids 50 pound box from Thread Up. I said Thread Up Kids. You know what I mean. $2.70 into them. Sold for 20 bucks on Poshmark. Not too shabby for, I think they were size 18 months Old Navy items. So that was a really quick sale once I finally got them listed. I sold a pair of Adidas black, tubular black specs. Those also came in a thread up shoe box. $4.83 I had into those. Those sold on Poshmark for $25. You saw the Lily Pulitzer. All right, moving right along. I picked up a pair of Salomon Kids Purple Sneakers. I believe I picked these up with credit that I got from trading in stuff from a Thread Up Kids box at Once Upon a Child. And I sold those for $25. I sold a pair of New Balance Minimus Vibram Blue Sneakers. I just picked those up this year. So a recent pickup. $2.65 was my cost of goods, which is kind of high for a bins haul, but I don't remember why it was so high. I must've got a lot of heavy items that day. And these sold on Mercari, these were in play condition. Once I got them home and washed them up, they were pretty beat up, but they still sold really quickly for $15. So after it was all said and done, my take home in my bank account profit was $9.71, which for a bins item, I think that's pretty great. All right, the next item was a Beta Brand travel dress. Now, I know Beta Brand pants are definitely not selling for what they used to. I love them. I am a consumer of them. So I've been picking them up, to be honest with you. I buy a size large, which is a good size. And I have not paid more than like $20 tops for excellent like new condition on Poshmark with discounted shipping as a buyer. So that tells me as a seller unless they're coming from the bins i have no business picking them up but this travel dress was new with the tags i sourced this online for nine dollars and it did sell for 49 dollars. so maybe some of the other beta brand items are doing better but the pants and the jeans i would caution you from paying up for those i know they were all the rage maybe two years ago not anymore this was a fun find if you live somewhere with a TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I definitely would encourage you to, maybe if you have two hours, I know time is hard to come by, but 
go and look through because you might be surprised at some of the brands you can find. I know I was personally shocked to find mini Bowden kids items and I did not look in the women's section. Maybe you can find Bowden items. I don't know, but I paid $15 for this adorable little dress and I had every intention of keeping it for my own kid until I realized it had that button like right here on the neck where their hair gets so, I don't know how people with kids with long hair wear those type of things. Anyway, I sold this dress on eBay for $36. So I definitely paid up for it, but you never know what kind of brands you're gonna find if you are doing some retail arbitrage. All right, definitely learned my lesson. I am no longer picking up bikini separates. This one was a J Crew bikini bottom. It was new with the tags. I did source this from the thread up outlet where it was probably a case where I just needed to get to 20 items. That's how you get 40% off. So I had $5 into them, but they took a really long, I don't even have the date when I purchased them on here, which means it was prior to 2021 when I redid this spreadsheet. They sold for $15. So yeah, I, I'm probably not picking up separates anymore. This was a super fast flip, sold within less than a week of me listing. Uh, I think you guys saw me source this. Again, when I did a trade at Once Upon a Child, taking my stuff from the bins straight to Once Upon a Child, I picked up this pair of Patagonia ski bibs, which we do not find Patagonia often here in sunny Orlando, Florida. And when we do, it's usually like new condition. Someone took it away to a ski vacation for a week and it's always in fa fabulous condition. I had $16 into these, but I know that it was credits, not my actual money. These sold on eBay for $78. Now, the way I do my spreadsheet for eBay, that's including shipping. I don't offer free shipping and I do make, not on purpose, but sometimes I make an extra dollar or two when it comes to shipping. And so the way taxes, born stuff, that's just how it comes on my spreadsheet. So you might see a number looking different on the screen. And also eBay, if I take an offer, the number will look different. Y'all know I'm pretty new to getting back to selling on eBay. All right, these Vans, $2.65 I had into, remember that was the same Vans day. These adorable little, they were like this big. You guys loved them when I sourced them in that haul. I was able to clean them up flawlessly and uh, they sold for $9. So listen, this was, I made a dollar and 38 cents, which is not even enough to buy you, like dollar menus don't even exist, but you know what? That was a dollar and 38 cents into my pocket that went towards buying, I, I don't know. I, 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 you know, like when you're a reseller, do you ever pick up things that you really have no business picking up, but you just are in love with it? Like I cannot leave super cute things behind. I cannot leave Lily Pulitzer behind. It's fine. They sold fast. Thank goodness. All right. Uh, this, and I am also a believer that making sales helps you make other sales. Something about the algorithms, all of that. All right, these Hey Dude Denny boots. Once I finally got these listed, these came in a recent thread up shoe box, recent as in recent that I've ordered. I'm pretty sure I got it in like October, November. I don't know. I had $5 into them. They sold very quickly for $30. This Vera Bradley travel bag, jewelry bag, travel jewelry. Came in a fun box I got just over the fall, had $4 into it, sold for $20. Um, I will tell you, I have been sending 40 and 50% offers on my Poshmark closet on bins items, items I've had for a while, just trying to clear out some stuff. And so I have a lot of like lower sales, but like these Hannah Anderson pajamas, $2 into these from the bins and I sold them for $15. So you know, my take home profits, $10 and 36 cents, but I'm the kind of reseller that I would rather make $10 constantly all day, like then have to wait for that one really good sale. To me, that is my grocery money. That is my kids dance money. That is my, uh, all three of them have to go to the dentist for cleanings on Wednesday kind of money. All right. This was an Adidas zip up jacket came from the bins, 78 cents into them. $25. That's the kind of sale I like to make. That's what I'm talking about. $19.22 bring home pay. 20 bucks profit. To me, that is like good. That's what I am aiming for. I don't find a ton of like higher end stuff, but to me, that's just like, if I could run my whole business on $20 profits, good to go. These bogs, if you watched my how to clean shoes video, I did 
I probably spent longer than I should have on these, but they were, I just have a hard time sending things to the landfill. You know, I want to get things nice enough that someone will want to still purchase them. They were in play condition. Being in Florida, any type of boots that are out in the sun, you know, they, it's just harsh. Same with pool toys, all of that. We have to throw that stuff away every year and buy new just because the sun damages stuff so easily. And my kids, we don't need Boggs boots for snow. We, when we moved in, we had a pool built. We did a lot of construction. So I made my kids wear Boggs boots, like just to go in my backyard. We are on an acre and a half in the middle of the city. It's on a lake. It's, it's awesome. Anyway, uh, these sold for $9. So, you know, was it worth my 15 minutes to scrub them? I think it was. All right. Cute video of Bianca as I interrupt to show you. While I'm editing, I saw that I forgot to share one sale with you that happened that first weekend. It was this little baby infant crib shoes. These were 100% leather. The brand is Piper Finn. Great little brand. I knew they would sell. They weighed like two ounces. One of the shoes was actually missing the lace, but I know that the next size up lace or the size below. So if somebody was sizing up, would still work out. And they sold really quickly on Poshmark for $13. And this is how 10 and a half month Bianca lives her best life. The next, uh, this was a very, very, very awesome for Amanda, random thing to get in a thread up fun box, a pair of C Kai run brand new Mary Jane kids shoes, like kids shoes in a thread up box. And y'all know I talk about this brand often. So that was a fabulous thing to have in a fun box. They sold for $28. So pretty close to the price that fun boxes cost. All right, I, I do every now and then sell things for a little bit more money. This was a Lily Pulitzer Melody Maxi dress and it sold for $158. Fabulous sale, but here's the thing that I caution you when you're watching these what sold videos, if you're watching somebody that's not telling you their cost of goods, like you have to keep that in mind because while $158 seems like the best sale that I've mentioned to you so far in this video, it's not because I paid $80 for that dress. I picked that dress up for personal use at TJ Maxx. They get the old last season Lily Pulitzer stuff. And I've had that hanging in my closet for like five years at least and was never going to be that size again. So I finally let it go. So my profit was only $44, which is still great. But when, you, when you're hearing things selling for that much, you just have to know how much people are putting into their items. All right, off my soapbox. Uh, another recent bins pickup, which seeing these recent things sell is my motivation to get stuff listed because obviously I know how to pick stuff that sells quickly, but it doesn't help me if I don't get it listed. These Tony Llama kids red cowboy boots I picked up at the bins, $2.65 was all a, that most recent haul. They sold for $38, which is my full asking price very quickly on Poshmark. These were a pair of Hagar, 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 these I sourced online. I bought like five pairs of them in all very large uh, plus size men's. These were size 50 waist golf shorts. I had $2.47 into them and I, this was my last pair. I finally sold out of them because they took forever to sell, but they sold for $20. This was not a good pickup. Um, I just thought they were cool. They were a pair of pull and bear men's board shorts. I don't know. I picked them up for $3 at a local thrift store. They took like three years to sell for $10. I just thought they were fun. All right, this Kate Spade crossbody came in a thread up designer handbag box a long time ago, like so long, but I have finally been cross listing more and more stuff over to eBay. I had $20 into this, sold on eBay for 36. And so I made a whole $2 and 60 cents, but it sold very quickly. It's been listed on my Poshmark for two, maybe three years and sold very quickly on eBay once I cross-listed it. So I have found that to happen a lot recently. So it's definitely giving me the encouragement to cross-list more of my items. I have about 800 items listed on Poshmark and only about 250 right now on eBay. So it's a process to go through and see what I have on both places, but we're getting there. All right, we have made it almost halfway through the month at this point. So we'll do through, let's see, we'll go through March 20th to keep this video not super, super long. All right, I sold this Vineyard Vines Kids Half Zip Pullover. I had $5 into it. It sold for 22. I sold this pair of Play 
P-L-A-E, little girls, big girls, size two and a half shoes. They had no insole and they still sold really quickly for $8, which was not a ton, but I know as a mom whose kids used to go to a school where we needed uniform colored shoes, they had to be blue, black, white. I loved this particular style and they are almost always sold out in certain sizes on the website. I would have been happy to pay, buy these and put different insoles in them. All right, this Disney Aladdin tank came uh, from a consignment that I did for somebody, but then we got to the end of it and she was like, just donate everything that's left or keep it, sell it, whatever. It sold for $4 on Poshmark. So when it was said and done, I made a dollar and five cents. So it's fine. But it's one of those things like once I take the time to list something, I am not going to take the time to take it down because it's already in my inventory. So I'll take my dollar. All right, this loft leather skirt came in my, that re, thread up 400 pound order that I did. So I had $5 and seven cents was my average cost of goods for what I kept to sell. You guys know I already made all of my money back. We finished that series. I made almost every penny back just selling to the buy, sell trade stores. In fact, I'm going again this week with still the last of it that I still have. And that sold for $23. I sold this Chico's multicolor jacket sourced from the thread up outlet. I haven't done an order on there in a while. It, I just was getting burned out with, they don't, who was ever in charge of listing items, when it says excellent condition, it comes awful. So I got to the point where unless it was new with tags, I'm not buying it. Yes, thread up customer service in, in my experience has been fantastic and they will refund you if there are issues, but it's like the hassle, you know? Anyway, that sold for $21. This Vivian Tam, which is a decent brand, if you have the right kind of item, this was not it. This was a silk blouse that I decided to list out of my 400 pound box. I should have just taken it to buy, sell, trade, but it did sell for $7. So that is more than I would get from the local sale, but it's fine. All right, these Clark's Unstructured Mary Jane's came from my mother-in-law. These were old. I think the date was like 2012. These sold for $12, which for shoes that are, what, if they were 2012, 12 years old, I was happy to see them go. This Beaufort Bonnet Company Caroline tank top. I, where did this come from? My kid's personal closet. They just never wore it. And it sold for $19. That is a great brand. They're more known for their smocking, uh, the like real Southern type of things. This was just a plain old floral tank top. One more day, we'll go over these Converse blue toddler, low, low, what are they called? The low chucks. I purchased these originally for $10 on Poshmark. My daughter wore them for that whole size and then ended up selling them for $22. So hey, I made 50 cents at the end of the day after she wore the heck out of these shoes. They matched a lot of her Lily dresses and I call that a win. I finally sold this Tommy Hilfiger vintage red puffer jacket. This came in a men's thread up box. It took me like two years to list it. Then once I finally got it listed, it sold pretty quickly. Here it is, it sold for $50. I was really glad it sold on Poshmark because it was giant and bulky and I ended up double bagging it in two poly bags to ship it. And glad to see it go because it took up so much space in my inventory. All right, these free people wooden heels. This was the last of the items that I picked up recently in a very tiny Goodwill haul. I paid $6.48 for them and it sold for $50. So that was what I was aiming for. And I got an offer for that and was happy with it. These Tiva, these last two sales I will share with you. No, there's three, but two of them are Tiva. Tivas are selling, people are ready for summer. These are the Flatform Universal Karina sandals. They came in a thread up shoe box. I had $6 into them. They sold for 25. And then the same day I sold these Tiva black plastic hurricane sandals. They were like Crocs. They were essentially Crocs only Tivas. Also came in a thread up shoe box where I only had $2.35 into that box. I probably had credits or something. Sold for $27. And then the last sale that we'll go over, let me mark for the next one, is this little kid's pair of native sandals. I've had these for since September. I had $7 into them from Once Upon a Child and they sold for $22. So a lot of sales in the $20, 20 to $25 range, which again, to me, like as a part-time reseller, I think that's great. 
and I'm happy to be, have at least one sale every day happening so far this month. So I hope your month is going great, especially if you are actually listing items every single day. I'm gonna get back to taking photos, so I have a lot of things to list, but then again, next month I will be putting my closets on vacation for two weeks while we are headed all the way to Hawaii. Yay, we're going to Hawaii, it's finally almost here. And that will obviously have an effect on all of my sales, but. Anyway, I thank you guys so much for watching my next video to come out. I'm so excited. I finally filmed another kids 50 pound. Y'all seem to like the last one where I opened up everything. It's going to be like an hour long video. We go through everything. We go to the buy sell trade twice and see what I pick up and traded for that and come out with my final numbers. And it just proved to me that that is my favorite box. So I will see you guys on Thursday for the next one. Bye.